Hey everyone, welcome back to Never Fake Gaming, continuing my way through Dead Space, trying to get to the solar array to turn it on uh, before Tideman can kill us all. Oh, and I electrocuted myself like an idiot, because I was like, I could do this part during my intro. Apparently I couldn't. It's literally just moving the controller around until you see a nice uh, aquamarine blue. Nope. Oh, I panicked. I panicked. That's why, you ever notice when I do these in every other episode, I'm actually kind of quiet for about 20 seconds. And that's why we can't do this during the episode. We are about to go up to the solar array so we can turn power back on so that Tideman doesn't suffocate us to death. Uh, because if he can't have us, no one can. He's really, he's that guy. Uh, and that's not cool. That's some toxic, uh, that's some toxic shit right there. Guilt. Like what? Like what is she talking about? Isaac, for the most part, was a blank slate in the first game. A little confused about what any of that meant. Oh look, another elevator sequence. We just keep going higher and higher. Um, there is a th there is a theory that Isaac is just, in general, more resistant to the psychosis. But I think that's because he just doesn't have a huge personality. He's just sort of like they give him way more personality in this than the last one, but. He's kind of just white guy hero type video game. Yeah, we going to space. Uh, the space sequence is one of those things where I, you could just fly around out here for quite a while, uh, and there's probably items just everywhere. Ellie, it looks like two of the mirrors are out of alignment. How's he doing? He's stopped hyperventilating. I don't know how much longer he's gonna last. I knew he would just slow me down. If Strauss dies, so do my chances of destroying the marker. Keep him alive and get to that panel. All right, Ellie, one down. How's it looking on your end? I'm trying to roll back the cover now. Strauss, can you give me a hand with this? Oh, he'll hurt me. I'm not strong enough. I promise I'll protect you. Now, just get over here and give me a hand. Poor Strauss. He is, he is not having a good go at this. Something covering the collector panel. Oh my god. There's hun there's thousands of them. They're breaking apart. Ellie, get out of there. Oh my god, they're heading this way. Run, Strauss, run! Ellie, Ellie, come in. Back here, Ellie. Shit. Where did that attack come from? Oh, oh, it's a thing. Oh, it's a whole thing. Oh no. Oh, uh oh, I got hit. Short controlled bursts. Move, dodge. Oh, they home, they home. Oh, that was a miss and a half. Oh, I like to, at least I have a lot of freezy juice. What do you drop for me? I bet you drop a, a some guns. Some guns, is that it? Damn, another conductor? I should have, I should have. Damn, is there another thing firing at me? Okay, can I not open my thing in space? <laughs> open my thing in space. All right, uh, javelin gun, you're far less important. Okay. Like I said, there is just a ton of stuff out here. Uh, and I should have, you know, between episodes, I should have just run back to a store. But that would have, that would have cost me about 10 minutes. Uh, of time, and I only have so much time to record in any given day. Uh, does my flamethrower work in space? It does! It didn't in the last game. That's interesting. I never even thought to test that till now. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go... Where's the next array? The next beacon? Oh, I see more items, though. That's... See, that's my thing. That's especially in survival horror games. I think survival horror games scratch that itch. Of that, like, hunter-gatherer itch from, like, our lizard brains from, like, a million years ago. Like, in our brain, we're just like, ah, oh, we're supposed to gather supplies. Oh, wait. Now I can pick up the things again? I guess, I guess reloading. 
Oh well. If I have a chance to swing back and grab the... Never mind, because this it's just filling my inventory with javelin stuff again. Spear gun ammo, whatever it's called, I don't know. Man, more items! This is... Again. Uh, and I, I, I still, to this... Right now, I have no idea. Maybe I'll do Dead Space 3. Uh, I don't know, but there are some fantastic uh, Zero-G sequences in that game that I just absolutely love. Alright, what's what ammo is more important? Again, I'm not... The, the javelin gun is for very specific instances. I think I see another tumor creature over there. I do see another tumor creature. Because uh, what else are you going to call this thing, right? Or is that the same one I killed? No, I just saw it shoot projectiles, though. Oh, well, let's go up. Oh, this is so confusing. I'm upside down. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's just, uh... And this is why last video was so much shorter, because I knew this is this is a whole sequence. Ooh, laser gunny. Bzzz. Look at all that concentrated sun power. Isaac, Ellie, Ellie, you all right? We just made it to the crossover tube when the beam hit. Isaac, those things are still heading towards the transport hub. They're wrecking everything in their path. Holy shit! So cut us off. Get to the hub. I'll meet you as soon as I can. Can't. Stop me now. You know I gotta move or I'm gonna die. Exiting zero gravity. Who is ready for a sequence? Emily, come in! Isaac, we have to cross to the government sector before they cut us off. You'll never make it down here in I'll time. I'll be there! I'll be there! <laughs> I know I don't film my face, but I am smiling a lot right now. Because this part's ridiculous. <laughs> also, all of these things are, uh, are insta-kills. Uh, we might have to watch this sequence more than once. Uh, because there's some tricky stuff here. Like that. And this. Oh! Oh, and just the whole part of the space station. <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, 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 oh no, it's magic! Oh! Ah. Oh, with the three-point superhero landing. He did it. He did the superhero landing. And mind you, this is this is 2011. This is before even the first Avengers movie. I know Iron Man was still doing his thing, uh, but for the most part, this is a this is an early entry into the tired trope of superhero landing. Way too many of them. Ellie, where are you? Right outside. Hurry! Oh, give me a store. There's a store. You know, be even better than a store. A bench. Not gonna give you that though, are you? You're not gonna get guys. Give me a second to sort my inventory, decide what I want to get, because this next part's gonna get hairy. Also, if I recall. You can just listen to it. You can just hear it. All those screeches and howls and stuff. Ooh, I forgot to reload that. That's good. Uh, I switched out the uh, the javelin gun, which could be a mistake for the uh, for the contact beam, but I just like my setup. I just like having the weapons I like, even if they're not the best for the situation. Let's face it, the, the handgun's always the best anyway. The plasma cutter is one of the best handguns ever. This way! The train is this way! Oh, they coming! Sh 
Short controlled bursts. Isaac, I'll try to open the CEC door on your level. No, 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 no. Hold on. Don't bring arm blades to a grenade launcher fight, asshole. Still frozen. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, I keep getting hit with it. And these things are so freaking fast, and I missed. Open up, you bastard. Oh good, they're line racks. No one wants line racks. Anyway, damn it! I should not be in the dark. I should be in the light. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm messing around too much. I hope this is the right way. I gotta shuffle. Gotta shuffle. You're right. I can't stop them all. Cause that's stupid. <sighs> I left behind so many items, guys. I'm upset. I'm upset. I mean, I'm not doing bad as far as inventory goes, but there's a lot of stuff in there. I hope there weren't any schematics. Alright. Let's see what uh, was behind door number three. Hey, Ellie, are you guys there? Did you make it? Shit, Isaac. Just... Shit. Hey, take it easy. It's okay. No, it's not. I was right here this morning with a crew of 30 people. But we were overrun. And before I knew it, they transformed. I had to cut the arms and legs off my friends just to escape. I feel there's pieces of them still lying around here somewhere. Ellie, I know. I'm sorry. And here I am again. I've just walked one big fucking circle today. We'll get through this. Let's figure out how to meet up. Right. Um, there's a, a central hub in the main facility. Here are the coordinates. Alright, I'd just like to point out that, like, remember in Aliens how Ripley had to go, like, back into the hive? Which is like the scariest thing ever because she's already had the trauma from the first movie and then things have just been going shit for that entire second movie. My point is, is Ellie's kind of the hero in this situation. Look at that. Look at that, me pressing the right button this time. Alright, I don't know what that is, but it's an annoying sound. I wish it would stop. Are you alive? Well, well, even if you were a necromorph, you wouldn't be alive. You would just be... What was that whisper? I've never heard that in this game before. Oh, that explains it. That explains it. There's just so much whispering going on, but that was a really uh, clear, decipherable one. Had not uh, had not heard that before. Oh, we have to edit through two stores this episode. That's fun. That's fun. That's always fun for Tommy to to uh, to edit. Uh, which way? We gotta go that way. Yeah, guys, give me a second to tool around in the store again. I'll be right back. All right, let's continue trying to find Ellie in this nonsense, and I guess Strauss too, since. He's kind of a huge liability at this point. Uh, as his brain could be used to make another one of these frickin' markers that cause all this... All this. Ooh. 
Um, you know when you're just you're trying to think like what's gonna happen next, but you can't really remember. Where is it? Don't play the scary string music and then not attack me. Oh, oh no, oh no! Oh, they're gonna come in. Oh shit. They're gonna be the super ones too. I don't know where they're coming in from. Ah, Well, that could have gone worse, I guess. This The mutators, the infectors, whatever they're called, are still out there. Yeah, I want to use that power node that I just picked up. Uh. Vintage suit! Uh, you know what? We're going to have to walk right back to that store and probably buy that vintage suit. And sell this thing. That's going to be fun. Let's go see how much it's worth, or how much it costs, or something. Words, things, meaning, synonyms, cinnamon, synonym, synonyms. Yeah, guys, I'm losing my mind. I've been recording for a while. Nothing like walking back entire the two entire doors you just went. Uh, vintage suit handed in. Uh, well, first let's get rid of this node thing. Sell that. Are you sure you want to sell that? Yes, I am sure. 40 grand! And I just bought a bunch of power nodes. Uh, let's do some quick maths. Uh, 3k, 3k, uh, 1k, that's, uh, well, actually 3.7. Uh, should I mention I'm notoriously bad at math? Uh, alright, let me, uh, let me make, I gotta think for a second. Do I want to sell this stuff? I could sell my javelin gun. Nah. Alright. Alright guys, give me one second. Alright, I uh, I sold all my freezy juice uh, and some javelin rounds, but I have 40 grand for the vintage suit. Uh, items at store are discounted 10% while wearing this suit. That's not exactly a great upgrade, but I'll tell you why we're buying this suit. It will permanently expand uh, our inventory slots. And it will also increase the uh, um, damage reduction. It'll increase our armor percentage. Uh, also, you just you get to see the new suit, and I like collecting everything. Really, everyone's gonna win here. Mostly me, maybe you, I guess. Uh, so he's like, he's it's it's an old school engineering suit that for some reason has more armor than anything else. It's actually pretty cool looking too. I, I actually uh, enjoy the look of it a bit. Um, it's just it's just not just not useful. It's just like something you buy to get uh, armor uh, fifteen percent, and we get the we get the fourth of five rows of inventory. But uh, I'm just gonna go right back in here, uh, and we're gonna switch over to the uh, back to the engineering not engineering suit. My bad. The uh, security suit. Which, as you recall, gives us Pulse Rifle 5% bonus damage. We're not buying anything at the store. Uh, equip, yes. And I cut out all the store stuff anyway, so every time I go to the store, I will be uh, getting into this suit, buying, a, like, tr a bunch of nodes, uh, and then switching back into another suit. So it's just more stuff I have to edit out, but you guys will never see it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. It's really cool because they, they play the music, they do the epic bass thing, but when I record this out for like the 18th or 20th time, I'm just going to be so tired of it. And I just saved my game too, which means if I die, I have to redo all of that. 
Uh, and as you see, we retain the 15% armor on the right there. We retain the fourth row. Uh, we got no money, but we got six nodes. Uh, and that's that's kind of what we need the money for anyway. Uh, I guess the, the occasional gun, but I don't think I'm going to get any more of the guns. I might pick up the force gun later for like the last couple chapters, but uh, yeah, who knows. Wow. Oh, those things are still in here, aren't they? Something's rattling around. Ah, oh, shit. No. It's behind me. Alright, okay, okay. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Woo wee! Do I gotta go this way? Yeah, I do gotta go this way. Do I wanna look at the rest of this room over here? Yeah, I do. Audio log! Sorensen, do you read? It's Caleb, shift one. You guys better be right behind us. We're leaving a swarm of angry dead body parts behind us. Caleb, come on! Mom, we're gonna take them up! I can see them! I couldn't tell if those monster sounds were recorded or coming from the game, so I panicked for a second. Hey, I don't care. I got more nodes. I'm telling you, the, the bad memories are just... the Ishimura sucked. Everything before that was fine. It wasn't even like him, him and uh, Nicole broke up. He thought they broke up. But it was really, he was just getting a message, uh, her final message. Or maybe they did break up at this point. Oh shit. As if this game weren't frickin' dark enough already. I realize the lights go off in this game way more than they do in the first game, or maybe I'm just misremembering the game that I literally just finished recording a few weeks ago. Oh, a few weeks ago at the time of this recording. Or no, at the time you're listening to it. I, guys, I don't know how time works. Leave a comment in the description if you know how time works. This must have been the last stand before was left down here. Can you get the door open on your end? No. No. They must have fused the panel trying to keep those things out. There's gotta be another way in. The only other way is through the processing plant. But it's not meant for human traffic. Step boy. I think I can stop it from here, though. Alright, do it. Not meant for human traffic, which means you know where we're going. The steps. You want me to follow the steps? I want to gather straws. I'll be there soon. I'm not jumpy, you're jumpy. Shut up. Ooh, there's a node in that room. Right there. It's a node box. Oh, she did open it. Save point. <sighs> Extreme danger. Guys, guess what? We gotta do, we gotta do a zero G puzzle with a ton of insta death traps in it. It's uh it's not going to be fun for anyone. That's why we're going to save it for the next episode in case I die 57 times and I'm just like I want to record the whole episode. But if you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, yada yada. Uh I'm having a blast doing all this nonsense. Uh I love this game. Maybe not the next sequence in particular. Uh, but we'll find out. We'll get there together, guys. Uh, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.